Hi, I'm Mikey Dredd. Welcome to Bowling Science, powered by Bowlify. What's happening, young man? Doing well. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Just getting ready to go to work. Heck yeah. I hope you are too. He's going to put stakes down and house back. Oh. Morning, Brian. Morning. Morning, Dad. We're still on the road to a thousand subscribers, and thanks to Bolify, we'll be giving away a jersey. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video for a chance. Four and a quarter, and you're four and a quarter by a half, so you're add up to 80. Going to four and a quarter, we add up to 70, so you're 45 by four and a quarter by 35 by 30 when he gets the ball. When he gets the ball, so you lay him out. And that's, yeah. your, that's your Zing hybrid. ZH, baby. There you go. Thank you, lay sir. Now that Moe's figured out the layouts, let's get caught up. Last time I saw him, he recommended a grip change and a few possible layouts for bowling balls. We're back one week later to give it a shot. We originally measured my axis tilt at 20 degrees, so we added some more forward pitch to the ring finger and rolled both fingers a quarter right. This should help decrease my tilt and help the balls roll. For the squatch, we decided on a short pin layout since I bowl in places that tend to hook a lot. This one's 90 by 1 and 3 quarters by 45. I hope to use this when the lanes are drier or I want to keep my feet further right without sacrificing any hit. Next, we're going to get the layout on the Zing setup. We sanded this ball before starting so it's at 1,000, 4,000 instead of the factory finish. This ball is going to sit near the top of my arsenal, so we wanted a strong, versatile layout. For me, that's about 45 by 4 and a quarter by 30. We're getting all the lines drawn so that Brian Fennell here at Orb Driller's Pro Shop can get those holes punched for us. Back when I had less tilt, I really enjoyed throwing my radical katana. I'm hoping that this ball, with a little added angularity in the layout, should replace that and give me even more hook. Well, that's enough talking about it for now. Let's get some holes in these rocks. Now that the holes are punched, let's see how these balls handle our 40-foot sport pattern. I threw a couple shots with each ball just to make sure the thumbs were beveled properly and everything was in order. Well that felt good. Let's take a closer look at that short pin squatch. One of my biggest takeaways from today was how impressive Dynamicor is. These balls sent pins flying. Let's move aboard right and see what happens. Ah, oh, much better. Time to move left and try out my Zing Hybrid. This ball let me get left even in the fresh and allowed the ball to read the mid lane and have a controllable strong back end reaction. I wonder who that could be on the right lane. Oh hey, it's Radical Staffer Brandon Johnson. He's gonna throw his Squatch Hybrid and his Zing Hybrid as well. Let's watch him get warmed up. His Squatch has a more standard strong layout than mine. He'll be able to show off the maximum potential of what a Squatch Hybrid can do on this tough sport pattern. The Squatch maintains rotation down lane and allows the ball easily to get to his break point of about 12. With rotation to spare, the ball turns over and rolls through the pins. Let's compare that with a slow motion shot of my short pin, much straighter Squatch Hybrid. 
even though I'm a couple arrows further right. I'm able to play almost straight up 12 using a similar part of the lane as Brandon, but keeping the ball straighter and more controllable off the back of the pattern. For me, with my ball speed to rev rate ratio, I prefer this kind of look on a tougher, fresh pattern. Now for something new from Bowling Science, we're going to overlay both of our shots together and show the overall versatility of what you can get using different layouts with the Squatch Hybrid. This is where having a good relationship with your Pro Shop operator really helps. Now Brandon and I have almost the same layout on our Zing Hybrids, so let's see how for us, two different bowlers, how we're able to get very similar reactions using the same layout based off of our each unique individual access points. From deeper in the pattern, you can see how still the Zing Hybrid starts to lose rotation and tilt earlier, allowing it to read the mid lane and drive into the pins. Dynamicoy leaves nothing to chance. I was able to get left too, just like Brandon. Maybe about a board less. For me, building my new arsenal, this gives me a completely different look than my short pin squatch, allowing me to accomplish many different things between just two bowling balls. Our reactions ended up being only one board different, allowing us both to take advantage of the inside line on this pattern. I want to thank everyone for watching and being a fan of Bowling Science. If you'd like to support the channel, check the description. I've got a link over to Bowlify where you can see their amazing jerseys and use code Bowling Science to save yourself some money. Subscribe to throw more strikes.